it essentially took all year to get to this video and to this point, but here is every GRC racer ranked from 2024, in my opinion. Don't take them too hard, this is just my opinion from best to worst. We are going to be looking mainly at designs, how much they change compared to their classic versions, how much theming they have, and overall the better looking colors, combinations, and all that good stuff. I mean, we've reviewed all of these on the channel, and I've reviewed all the mini racers of these guys, but today I will officially be locking in without script, right on the spot, ranking them all from best to worst. So, number one for the best one in my opinion, I think it's everyone's obvious choice, Lightning McQueen. The blue bolts with the blue number and the bolt on the top and the black hood. Everything about this Lightning McQueen design is just peak. I just love how it looks. He looks amazing on the packaging as well. The packagings for these cars are really nice too with the Willys Butte on the background. No one knows what these cars are about, but overall, this McQueen is a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I just really love how he looks. So I guess we'll start ranking them from this side and work our way down. Number two. For my personal preference, I think I will have to go for Cruz Ramirez. Same thing with Cruz. I just love the color combinations with the black and the blue, the yellow, especially the hood and the spoiler. They even added black eyeliner, which they don't really do that often with these cars. But you'll see that a lot of these actually do have that. And not the black eyeliner and the actual eyelids. I mean the actual border of the windshield. So McQueen has it. Cruz has it. Francesco, Max, Carla, Raul. And I think the only ones that don't have it are Jackson, Miguel, and Chu. Cruz Ramirez, in my opinion, gets the number two spot. Despite not having the metallic goldish look like on the packaging, design-wise, I'd place her at number two. Number three, I think I would have to go for none other than Francesco Bernoulli. Francesco it just looks amazing. Uh, it reminds me of the Cars Fast as Lightning video game. The red, white, and the green all representing the look of the italian flag it just looks really really good i love the black sort of like design that it has on the the splitters and all these like outer parts of the vehicle i don't i'm not a huge f1 guy but i don't know what all these parts are from an f1 vehicle but everything just pops it just looks fantastic it really does look like an F1 vehicle uh, in the real world. It doesn't look too cartoony, especially with those sp uh, sponsors there. And it, it just, it looks very realistic. I love the look. It looks very, very realistic. And it looks like a very high-end collectible in my opinion. So Francesco would be number three. Number four, I think I would have to give it to Raul Sarul. Yeah. This guy's design is absolutely fantastic as well. I love the white going across, the white rims, the hexagons, and especially this top design right here. It just looks phenomenal with the red and everything. This guy is just fantastic. I might even have to put him in three instead of Francesco, but I think him and Francesco tie, they are both just amazing in my opinion. They look really, really good. So we'll place him at the number four. Actually, you know what? No, I'm sorry. Francesco will get number four, Raul will get number three. Number five, I think I would have to go for... Oh gosh, this is, like I said, I'm recording this on the spot, so let me take a look at these real quick from the side. I think I might have to say Storm? Yeah, I think it's Storm. Actually, no, you know what, I take that back. I might have to go for Shu Todoroki here. Although he does look very similar in design to a normal Cars 2 Shu Todoroki. The black on the sides and the blue stripe that just goes all across the body here. And the red spoiler and the red rims just really make him pop. And it just screams Japan and it looks fantastic. Uh, the next one I think would have to be... I'm going to go with Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm looks great as well. It's just... I'm not a big fan of... Uh... What they did here, I feel like maybe if they did the hood in blue, similar to the Glow Racer, maybe it would have popped out a little bit more. Granted, it's not the same shade of gray slash black that Jackson Storm usually has. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of a look from the front or from this sort of angle because it almost just looks like a normal Jackson Storm. Once you turn it to the side, though, that's where you really start appreciating this Jackson, especially at the rear end there with the dark blue and the spoiler. So front half, ill, back half awesome love the design so yeah that's jackson storm there i would place him right there next to shu he doesn't i i think shu and jackson are probably tied that's 
probably why I had a hard time deciding. But yeah, these two, more or less the same, I feel, about those two. They're not extremely different from their normal variants, but they have those little things that make them stand out compared to the originals. So we're down to our last three. We have Max, Miguel, and Carla. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Miguel and Max... I think are going to be some of the last ones. So I guess we're just going to go with Carla here. Now, Carla, same thing. She looks very similar to a classic Carla, but those little yellow highlights, I guess, do kind of make it pop, like the spoiler and the wheels mainly. Not a whole lot of GRC logos and craziness going on. It's very subtle. You just have like this GRC logos on the side. Um, of course, the spoiler, but you compare her GRC design to how crazy like Raul or McQueen look, and this one just looks a lot less themed, if that makes sense. So for that reason and the colors alone, I think I would have to place her in that number seven spot. And for number eight, I think it really comes down to the, just these two, Max or Miguel. <sighs> oh my gosh, who am I gonna choose? Both of these suck, in my opinion. <laughs> I really just don't like these, and I'll explain why in a minute. <sighs> oh, gosh. You know what? I just cannot decide. I think I'm going to have to tie them both as the worst ones, and this is why. Miguel and Max just look extremely similar to stuff we've seen before. Um, actually, you know what? Max. Max will get the second last spot. Miguel will get the worst one. Max here at least has a new color at the front where it's like a silver bullet metallic sort of gray. And then it fades into that like darker black with the flag of Germany painted throughout. And it just looks really good. Same with the two-tone wheels. That's kind of different. It's kind of cool. Red and yellow wheels. Kind of like Francesco, how he had that as well with green and red to represent the flag. So you know what? Yeah. Max. The only thing I don't like is that at first glance, he looks like a carbon racer and your mind immediately thinks that. But once you compare him to the carbon racer, they're not exactly the same. So for that reason, I think I'll put him there. I'd go as far as saying maybe moving him compared to Carla. But anywho, it's kind of iffy with those two. I think I would rank those two in the same spot the same way I did Jackson and Shu. But for the worst one, in my opinion... Miguel Camino. Actually, no. GRC made her as that mini racer. I hate that. But the fact that it's not as a 155 skill kind of saves it. But I have a feeling they'll do it next year. But for now, we're just focusing on the racers. Miguel Camino. From the front, from the sides, from pretty much everywhere except the black spoiler and the red wheels, it looks like a normal Miguel Camino. It just it doesn't do it for me. The weird white back panel, I don't know why they did that. Uh, the expression is cool. I will give them that. I do like the rims. I do like the black spoiler and everything. The backside, I mean, again, kind of like Carla, I just don't see a lot of GRC theming. And I mean, make the spoiler uh, red like Mattel always fucks up. Give them the black rims. And I think it would almost be a normal Miguel Camino with coincidentally a GRC logo there, there, and there. So for that reason... I'd have to give them the final spot. Now, as far as next year, a lot of these are coming back. We don't have a full roster just yet. We will once the poster comes out, maybe around February or March. But I think everyone knows what we want besides these guys. We want Jeff Gorvet, Lewis Hamilton, Nigel Gearsley, and Rip Kluskanowski. Do we not? That way we have the whole fleet. I mean, there's people who go as far as saying take out Cruz and Jackson, which I can kind of see your point if we could have had Lewis and Jeff. But hopefully, since they're continuing these into next year, we will in fact be getting those. I really hope so, because if not, I can see people raiding Mattel. I really do, because you can't have the entire ensemble of World Grand Prix racers without Jeff and Lewis. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And let me know in the comments how you would rank these from best to worst.